it is six towards six thirty in the morning. I think it is. Um, I am a little groggy and really want to have a rest. Uh, the day never stops, and it is time to prepare, uh, finish up, pack up lock bags, and it's go time. Going through the duty food right now, and much of it is actually under construction. I think they're renovating. Unfortunately, that's not my plan. I'm sad. Okay, checked in. That's the secure area. Um, watching people run the flights as well. I'm just waiting for my boarding call now. Unfortunately, the way, uh, because I'm playing Pikmin Bloom, kind of demands that I keep walking, so I'm gonna get up here soon. Looking forward to flying through to Singapore, um, and things will get interesting from then on in. Um, so, getting started soon. Time to board. There is a boarding delay of about 20 minutes, so I guess I'm walking some more. Oh no. Right, so the thing about the hotel cabins, uh, especially um, these ones, but in general, is that they're small. The thing is, the thing about the Changi one, the hotel cabin, Changi Airport, is just how actually small this is. That's the door, and that's the bed. It is straight to the bed. And then there's a tiny little cubicle shower and no windows facing outside, but that's okay. We're only here for the night. Cool. What time is it? It is 8.23. I need to get stuff done before stuff closes. Um, so we're gonna get started now. Right, so that's the hotel. And then... Kids, it's time to fight somewhere to eat before I actually move into hangry mode. Right now, I'm transitioning slowly to hangry mode. That was fun, and now I could actually, actually get food because I am really hungry. Okay, so you might be wondering, um, why get the AMW? Well, I got some stuff from the Pokemon Center. Why get the AMW? Well, first, um, well, it's two things. One, it's nostalgia. I miss AMW. I grew up with AMW. I miss their coney dogs. And two, there are no AMWs in the Philippines. So, like, this is the only chance I'm gonna get to have these. I'm, I'm, look, I'm gonna be here again later on in the month. So I'm gonna be able to enjoy the local food as well. Probably gonna try and go for more hawker food. But for now, enjoying this. So, I'm gonna go eat. <sighs> I am legitimately tired. I have been up and running since about, wow, 5.30 this morning, and that was in Australia. Um, I get another couple of extra hours here uh, before my body thinks it's bedtime. So there we go. So I'm gonna try and have a quick meal because it's 20 to 10. 
um, the rain vortex will stop at 10. Most things around Jewel Changi actually stop at around 10 p.m. So that begs the question, what around here is open after it closes? Because the mall building is open 24 hours. The Yotel is like basically has a walk-in, walk-out like policy for guests. So it's fine. That's that's fine. But what else is open? Little side note, H2Yo. I know it's a little faux pas to eat at your hotel room, but like I don't know where else to go. And also, um, yeah, this is what my nostalgia gets me. Might as well enjoy it. Okay, we're back up and running again. It is 27 minutes past 10. Um, and let's see what's in Duval Changi after close. I think, I think that's all I can do for Terminal 3 without going airside. I really don't want to go airside right now. I'd rather do it when the flight's due. So, I guess it's back to Jewel, back up to the room, and I might as well get some rest. I don't think I'm enough of a coffee drinker to consider that. I'm kind of worried that if I explore this area a little more, I'm gonna run into um, sleepy, drowsy people, which may or not may, may or may not be the best thing. So I should let people rest, and I should rest myself. Hmm. Now, good night, Singapore. I'll see you again tomorrow.